Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Sagittarius. This reading for today Sagittarius, this is your full month of April 2024 tarot reading message. Thank you so much guys for supporting the channel. Thank you so much guys for being here. Thank you so much guys for your support. What is the guided um, reading for the Sagittarius sign? Let's look into what is the full month of April uh, offerings, okay? Major events and um, opportunities and situation that will be happening towards you in the month of April, okay? This is full month of April. What are the major opportunities? Fated event. What can I get for the Sagittarius sign, please? Thank you so much, guys, for your support. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, click the bell and click the subscribe button, okay? I'm doing this end of March, so I might be able to pick up a lunar eclipse happening March 25, and I'm channeling the full month of April for your sign, okay? This is for the Sagittarius sign full month april what can i get for the sagittarius sign please the sun card mm. very interesting the page of swords what is the guided message for the sagittarius sign please what can i get for the sagittarius sign april full month faded event faded situation offers please what can i get for the sagittarius sign? you got a queen of cups in here eight of wands thank you guys for your support and um oh nice you know i was thinking okay no major flags or no major gifts and then the soulmate came nice okay all right sagittarius let's start your reading so you're starting the reading sagittarius with the let's start with you okay let's start with you and let's look into your intuitive reading intuitive message so you're starting the reading with the four of pentacles in here i think you know i could feel the vibe of the lunar eclipse i had 12 hours of sleep and i think that 12 hours of sleep is a gift you know i think the universe made me go sleep sunshine you need to recharge your psychic okay so with you Sagittarius with the four of pentacles in here um the something end of March going towards probably how you start the month of April where um there's a part of you that you're holding back you're keeping energy you're keeping resources you're keeping money you're keeping your energy you're keeping your precious self you know um with the four of pentacles in here like you're keeping something exclusively for you you're saving your money you're keeping your resources you're keeping your sagittarius vibe limited okay four of pentacles because i feel like the sun card this is you okay you are a sagittarius you bring light you bring sunshine you bring help you bring support you bring love and the way you bring love support maybe money resources um, help or assistance to your friends to your family to the world Sagittarius is big that's how you are Sagittarius when you love you grant love when you help a person you exceed expectation you are the Jupiter you are a giver Sagittarius more than the taker you're a giver of life of money of resources of love you're a giver it makes you happy to give it makes you happy to share who you are you who you are <laughs> it's it makes you happy to share who you you are who you are what you have you know you, you're very happy to give more than to receive it it makes you powerful that your expansion you know like you're the <clears throat> you're the giver you're the giver of life you're the giver of resources you're the you're, you're the main 
You're a big person. You're a big thing. When you give, you give big. You don't, you know, some people give this. You give all. Okay? So, the end of March and with the influence of the eclipse and the, it's, and the, you know, the upcoming Mercury retrograde. It looks like the universe. It looks like the universe is pulling you back. Sagittarius, hold on a minute. There's something in you that you're quite tired playing that role. It could also be like, okay, I'm tired helping you or helping this or giving this or doing that. There's a part of you that you're tired to play that role to a certain situation or person. You've been a giver more than a taker for, I don't know, for ever since you were born for some of you guys, but you've always been a giver more than a taker. And that's okay because it makes you happy when you give. It makes you happy when they're happy when they receive what you give. You're like that. Now, there's a part of, um, you know, the end of March in the influence of the eclipse where your soul would like you to conserve, okay? Um, there's something in the month of, the, the end of, um, the end of, march and as you start with the month of april that the sun card as, as much as i would like to share what i have you would conserve it so any extra things or energy people any extra resources that you have like if you've got extra time you would rather spend it to yourself sleep eat or help out with your own home rather than being out and about so there is a lot of that in the month of April. You will notice with the Page of Swords, you will get, you will, you will, you will send a lot of no. Okay, Page of Swords, the Sun card, Four of Pentacles, I'm sorry, universe, the world, my friends, my community, the month of April, I will be exclusively for myself. So you're not going to be available. Your commodity, your talent, your skills, your love, you won't be present to everybody. You will only be present to you. Okay, because Page of Swords, I'm seeing you the month of April. You're going to save a lot of money. You're going to save a lot of energy. You're going to save a lot. And you're going to use all of that savings to you. Whether it's energy, resources, time, money. You're going to save a lot of that. You're going to restructure. Okay, like you're going to restructure the part of your life where you're the giver. And you're just okay to receive a little, you know, you're going to change that. The month of April, Page of Swords, you're going to say no. You're going to say no sharing, okay? You've been a sharer before. I would say this is not a negative thing. This is just a journey, okay? This is just you're entering a cycle or you're journeying. This is part of your journey where it looks like I might keep some of my resources, to be available just for me because sometimes if they're sometimes if you're too available too out there they don't find they don't find it special you know sometimes if before they even ask you you're already offering you don't seem to be appreciated or given much credit about that you know uh that's gonna change the month of april in order for you to be special is you're going to be limited Sagittarius oh I love it I love it yeah so the month of April with the eclipse to back to back to back to back eclipse with the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse this is the time of your life where you're just gonna be a Sagittarius all of your offers sorry all of your money all of your time all of your resources is exclusively for you you're going to enjoy that because i think in the past you tend to be the life of the party you tend to be the provider of this like people wouldn't go there if you're not there or you people run to you people you know family friends go towards you to ask for help to ask for support or sometimes there's a part of you sagittarius that you go there and somehow you're obliged to be the center of attention or to be the life of the party you're going to be quiet. You're going to keep it exclusive with you. You're not going to be available 
24 by 7 for the world, for the universe, for other people. You're just going to keep your beautiful energy. You are special. And sometimes the world, your family, your friends doesn't see that because you're always there. Before they even ask, you're already there. I'm offering it to you. Oh, this is what I have. Don't worry. So you will make it special by limited availability. Sagittarius. And I believe with the Four of Pentacles in here, the reason why you're somehow wanting to be exclusive because you have neglected yourself, Sagittarius. Your soul is telling you you've been so available for others, but not for yourself. So you're going to keep and power up for yourself. It's like you're hoarding my money, my resources, my energy to myself. Okay? No more about all of you. It's going to be about me. And the reason why your soul is acting like, oh, save up for yourself, save up for us, so, you know, your soul is telling you to do that because the energy, the money, okay, the energy that you keep for yourself, you know, like the energy that you spend to yourself, self-healing, self-love, you know, uh, learning how, learning new skills, learning lots of tops, l l spending lots of time learning, upskilling, spending lots of time healing, spending lots of time inside house, inside of your home, reading, learning, watching, uh, you know, uh, series or uh, videos that would uplift you, all of those giving back to yourself, it's going to heal your soul. And if your soul is fully rested, if your soul is healed, fully rested, then it's creative, then it's solid and it will support you with your next adventure. So there's a lot of that. You're conserving a lot of energy for yourself to heal, for yourself to grow, for yourself to dis to discover where do you want to go next, Sagittarius. Yes, this is you. Look at that. This is the crawl. This is your psyche. This is you. And look at the amount of things you've given away. I give you my love. I give you my money. I give you my support. You will move mountains for other people. Okay, and then there's nothing left. So you are going to recharge that. Okay, so you won't, you will ignore the following birds who want something piece of you. Okay, you're just going to let them, tell them to go away, page of swords, and you're going to spend lots of time, lots of money. Okay, you're going to spend lots of money to nourish your soul. You're going to spend lots of money to buy food to nourish your soul. You're going to spend lots of money to upgrade your wardrobe, you know, to upgrade how you look. All of your money goes to this soul. You're black. Look at that. It's almost drained. So you're going to spend lots of money upgrading your wardrobe, your skincare. You're going to buy books, learnings in here. It's going to be fun. Like, you are going to enjoy being alone, being with your soul, and catching up with your soul. You're going to be very picky with people, Sagittarius. I'm really feeling like you're likely focusing on you, and you're going to review friendship and social networks. And I'm seeing this expand up until June, you know, in the next two months. I'm really seeing you be more discerning about who you would like to keep around and the type of person you would like to be. That's possibly the reason why you are wanting to just be on my own and spend my money and my time and my energy to myself because you're figuring out who I really would like to be in the future, like rebranding. So, April, this will be colorful, okay? You're discovering yourself right now. Eclipse, you are rebranding. Like you're feeding yourself, like, you know, our body, it's our avatar. So, you're going to update your spiritual soul. It's in alignment of your physical body and your age and maturity. So, there's a lot of, okay, this is how I should dress. This is, this is, this is how I should dress. This is how... This is how I should dress. This is how I should talk. This is how I should behave. And this is the right people that I should be with, with my age and my spiritual maturity. 
So there's a lot of that in here. And you're going to start to say no with foods and brands and clothing and, of course, people that does not align to where your soul would like to be. You're becoming who you are, okay? You are discovering the type of person you would like to be with from now up until the immediate future. I am so happy for you, uh, Sagittarius. Okay, that's that's just the beginning, okay? Now, let's pick up more intuitive message for you. I see you traveling in the next two months. Af after April 8th, you're going to finalize a travel. Okay, there's a travel plan. April 8th, yes, the World Guard. So for some of you, there is a beautiful travel plan or travel invitation, as Sagittarius. You will be able to see you save money. So for some of you, as soon as you hit, I mean, right now, end of March, and as soon as you hit uh, April month, you're going to save lots of money. You're going to be mindful of what you buy. You're going to be mindful of what you eat. You're going to be mindful of what you have. If I have this, I don't have to buy this. I cannot have repetitive things. You're going to go around your house. You're going to look at all the things that you have acquired and you will be contented. And because you're so contented, okay, I don't have to buy this and that. I just need this, you know, food because it's nutritious. You're going to save lots of money. You're going to save lots of time. You're going to be happy. And you're going to allocate that budget to travel, adventure. Like there's something less materialistic and more experience in here. And for some of you, you're going to invest something holistic or something that feeds your soul, your body, your skin. So you might go holistic healing, holistic beauty, thing that you put on your face. There's a lot of that. But you will be able to finalize a travel plan. You will be able to finalize the travel plan uh, April. If you're not going to travel in April, but you are going to have the money or the plan in April. Okay. You have a chariot card. I feel like this is a person. This chariot card. So the month of April, you're being encouraged to... You might have some medical checkup or routine. Okay, so let's look at this chariot card. Root vegetable. So for some of you guys, you might notice a decline... Like you might notice poor sleep, poor digestion. Uh, you might also feel f poor sleep, poor digestion, bloating. I'm not a medical doctor. Uh, I'm just a spiritual advisor. Um, but you might notice some, some stuff around your body. And you will, you're being encouraged that when you feel your energy is low, cannot sleep, and then poor digestion, also hydration as well. But there's something about a routine check that you would do, that you would immediately book. Because this is like immediate, like this owl on top of you, and then root vegetable. You will shift your diet for some of you guys. I could feel it right now. Um, so the month of April, you will listen to your what? The month of April, you will listen. You, the month of April... Your body is so connected to your psychic that you would listen to what your body needs, okay? You would book a routine checkup. After you book a routine checkup, there is some sort of new person that you would meet. I think you would discover a new person that would be connected when you're dieting, something to do with something holistic, dieting, routine check. You would get to meet someone that would... It's more of a vibe, Sagittarius, where you, as soon, I think this is mid of, mid of April. I think this is mid of April, where after this routine check, Sagittarius, um, you're going to do some, after the routine check, you will really focus into healthy diet, healthy sleep, or you might buy some supplement, or for some of you, it's something about body correction, maybe chiropractor, but you will... You will go to a place where you're going to meet to meet this uh, person, okay? So there's something that there's someone that you would meet after you had a health checkup, okay? So it could be it could be a clinic, it could be a chiropractor, it could be something connected to. You go there for a checkup. You're being advised to do this, or to drink this, and to further do this, 
and then in search of that you visit a place or you, you talk to someone you inquire and you meet this person so this person could advise you about health wellness or could inspire you with health and wellness or it could be a love interest but there's someone special in your journey to uh, self-medicine self-physical body healing okay this chariot card yeah knight of wands you would know this person is interested with you to be your friend or to be romantic because they're going to follow up with you they will initiate they will follow up a call or a text and that's probably where you're going to be friends with this person okay so you've got a new love interest or maybe a new friend in here you have a three of pentacles sagittarius so for some of you guys in terms of work oh my gosh sagittarius in terms of work okay in terms of business and work you will your enemy will be revealed the month of april the universe will reveal your enemies or the month of april the universe will reveal to you the bad people the hidden enemies the people that you shouldn't be or the people that you need to work but you need to keep them arms at length and the reason why i'm saying that because this is you okay you're working you're working and some of the people you know you thought they th you thought that they are your ally but actually this is you something will happen in the month of april that maybe one or two people snake you know sly fox in here and you've got the wisdom bird in here so the month of april you will confirm that this is a frenemy someone one or two people uh you will confirm that they are a frenemy and you possibly need to work with them but you will be arms at length so the universe will reveal will eclipse your thinking like this is you there's a bird so probably mid of april the universe will give you the wisdom to eclipse and to identify this is really a frenemy this is not a good person this is a bad influence so you would you would you would know that you will have a grand reveal who is your real friends and who is your enemies okay queen of cups eight of wands you're ready to fall in love sagittarius the month of april i see you spending the first two weeks on your own or your priority is your house your body your soul your money your resources so the april month is all about you the first two weeks and because you you've been spending all of your energy all of your time to nourish your soul to nourish your body to learn a skill and to hibernate a little bit at home saying no with you know unwanted invitation by the third week of april you're ready to fall in love you're ready to accept new invitations okay so the third week of april to the fourth week of april you are ready to go out and about queen of cups because this is you okay this is you this is your cup okay i'm very happy like you look so look at you you look healthy glowing up happy and very proud of the shadow work and the work that you've done with your house with your home with yourself your body is a wonderland your body is your avatar and your body is where your soul resides so i think the first two to three weeks the first two weeks at least of april you're going to do a lot of that not only that but you look very happy you're able to protect your resources you will you were able to protect your energy not only that but you were able to protect and heal your body uh you were able to protect your money it this it, it didn't go to waste it goes to you you were able to protect your time it didn't go to helping other people i mean helping is good but you you've got to help yourself first so you're very updated fully updated the second week of april you can say oh my life is updated my house is clean uh my credit card is clean or you were able to you you know clean up a huge life task body heart soul space and money okay very happy now you're ready to take on a new adventure eight of wands the soulmate card so this person it could escalate to a soulmate 
okay the thing is when you don't look for it it just comes so for some of you unexpected friendship unexpected unexpected friendship unexpected soulmate will be there will show up and it will develop solidly so by end of april you will have a soulmate sagittarius i feel like this person grieving this is you so proud because you're going to say goodbye to a very old version of yourself I think for some of you, you're still holding a three years. Like it's it's giving me a vibe that because of the glow up, the spiritual, the physical, and because you look after your life, I would say the month of April, you look after your life, look after yourself, you look, especially your resources, Sagittarius. I'm really really picking up. Be practical. Look after your money. You look look out. You look after your money, your time, your energy. You look after your thoughts. Think. Like you look after your thoughts, especially Sagittarius, the thoughts that you think. Where your thought, where do you spend your time? Where where do you how do you spend your time? But like like every day, where do you spend your time thinking? What thoughts? Where where does your thoughts go? Which like every day, where do you spend most of your time? Especially your thoughts. Is it is it about people? Is it about searching for other people? You know, you will recalibrate that and you will put it back to you, Sagittarius. Your thoughts, most of it is spending to you and how you're going to improve your life, how you're going to protect your resources. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're behind, which, which, which means that, you know, physically and spiritually, like there's something physically and spiritually a little bit disconnected. So what you have right now, physically, maturity, it's like three years back. But because of this synchronization, you are now updated. You're saying goodbye to an old version of yourself. This is you. Goodbye to my old version of myself. I now know how to protect my energy, how to conserve my energy, who to give my energy, who I want to be. The right behavior, the right character, the right maturity. I'm ready for the world. I'm ready for you, soulmate. Sometimes we tend to want this, we tend to manifest this, but then there's some inner work that needs to be done. The right behavior, the right character, and, you know, the, the, we've got to put in the work first internally, and I think that's what you're going to do. Because this is like a for, from top to bottom, you know, energy, um, time, resources in here, all about you. You're going to give it back to you, Sagittarius. Lots of discovery. So you're going to have a soulmate. So probably as you connect with yourself, you only attract the people that you want, which is true. As you spend lots of time to get to know yourself, you will only attract the people that you want because you're going to say lots of knowing here. You're, gonna, you're only going to attract the people that you want and the people that you want that you're going to have, one of them is a soulmate. You deserve this soulmate, Sagittarius. And on top of that, with the grieving, because the old you is gone, you easily trust yourself. Like you open yourself up again and you easily trust yourself and you manifest the right person. You've got a soulmate coming in here. It could be this person and it will solidify to a soulmate. Yeah. You will attract the right friends. And you'll spend lots of time at home with the right friends or the right soulmate. There's something contentment that you will find. You will find content. Like the month of April, you will find contentment and peace to be on your own. Fixing your resources, giving time to yourself, giving back to your soul. Attending to your needs. By third week, you will attract the right person. The right friends will remain. You will celebrate and you will have a soulmate. Sagittarius. Look at that. How wonderful life is. What's that song? The world. I forgot, but it's a nice song. So, Sag, this is your April reading. I hope you like it. I hope you've connected with me. And most of all, follow your psychic. Follow your intuition. It's always your guide, okay? That will lead you to this, to walk on earth, okay? Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. 
I will see you soon. You have a great day, Sagittarius. Bye-bye.